soap is very soft, so we just need simple wooden and plastic tools. Make sure you have a placemat under where you'll be carving. We have thumbnail sketches of our plan, which we will then trace onto our soap. Make sure you throw out any garbage, please. You can either lay your paper with your sketches and wrap them over the rectangular bar of soap, or you can cut out the rectangle and place it on there so it's a little easier to manage, whatever's easier for you. But trace with a pencil, making a dent engraving into the soap. Make sure you do this on all important sides that you'll need for your carving. Begin carving with a wooden popsicle stick or a simple plastic play tool. You want to sh slowly shave away the negative spaces, really slowly. You want to avoid removing any large chunks of soap at one time. Um, if you remove a chunk, it'll likely break and crack. So just go slowly shaving. So here I'm going to show you how I use my thumb as leverage and I use the side or edge of my tool and slowly shave toward me as if I'm peeling a vegetable. This seems to be, for me, the easiest way to make sure that I have good control and I'm not taking off too much at once. So continue carving away and shaving away the negative spaces, making sure that you are turning the soap in all different directions as you work. So I'm not just working from one side the whole time. I'm turning it over, looking at it from the top, looking at it from the back, making sure it's coming from one side to the other evenly with the design that I've sketched on every side. This will help make sure that the design is even, balanced, symmetrical in this case, since the design is symmetrical here, and that I'm not carving off too much from one side, not enough from another side. So I'm constantly moving and turning and taking off just a little at a time. You'll have to keep using your thumb to clear off your tools because the soap will stick to the tools. Now some details need to be a little higher in relief than others. Um, in this case, this is the tail. So I'm basically not carving the tail away at all. I'm leaving it and I'm carving around the tail. This way the tail will appear to be popping out when I'm done. So here's that. You can see it's starting to pop out. I still have more to do, but I'm gonna go very slowly and continue carving legs, sides, and everything else. So for stage one, I'm just basically carving the basic contour line, basic form into a block or prism of my shape. In this case, it's a mouse. Then whenever I'm done for the day, I'm sealing this in a plastic Ziploc bag. And this just helps maintain the moisture and softness of the soap. Any garbage on your mat, make sure you carry the mat to the garbage can and dump those shavings out. So now I kept carving and added more detail and continued rounding things out. You can see I've popped the tail out more by carving around it, and I've added ears by carving in the middle of those and starting to whittle away the center between the ears so that there are now two of them. Be careful when things get thin, like an ear, or if you're doing legs, um, because they can be more delicate and more liable to break. So you'll notice here my left hand is supporting the ear on the outside while I'm carving and shaving off some soap from the inside of the ear. So I'm always supporting the opposite side of these thinner, more narrow pieces while I carve. Otherwise, you could break them. Too much pressure could just cause them to snap right off. So here I'm just continuing to shave away and now I'm adding some more details like the indentations in the ear and I'm refining the overall form, taking in the neck a little bit more, rounding out the nose a little bit more, um, going to carve away some of the front paws a little bit more and so on. So here you see it mostly trimmed and rounded out. Definitely could use a little bit more refinement. Um, I would probably do more but I wanted to demonstrate at least this. I keep, kept the bottom flat so it stands up and balances. I will probably carve in between the legs a little bit though. And then if you need to smooth out some of those marks from the tools, you can just use a dry or slightly damp sponge 
and just clean the soap out of the sponge after you use it because the pores will get filled up with soap. In the classroom, we're just going to put our initials on the bottom of our little friend so that if he gets separated for some reason from our bag with our name on it, we know whose it is, and that would be a fairly finished stage after smoothing. Have fun!